Hi everyone, it's Brenda back again with another episode of Three Uniques. I've got Alyssa Bowman here. How are you doing, Alyssa? I'm doing well. Thanks Amazing. for having me. Yeah, I'm excited to have you on and to introduce you to everybody. So Alyssa is a holistic nutritionist. She's a wellness warrior and she's the founder of Nourish.ca and she's based out of Vancouver. So Alyssa, do you want to tell everybody a little bit about yourself? Sure. Um, I love food. I love healthy food. I love teaching people the healing benefits of food. Um, and I love applying it to my everyday life. Other than that, um, I have a big wanderlust, love to travel, love to uh, explore and find the hidden little paths uh, all over the world. It's one of my favorite things and something I'm super craving right now, now that we can't really travel. Uh, I have three daughters who um, are the loves of my life that I try to empower and inspire to be the best young ladies that they can be. And I'm just coming up celebrating 18 years of very good and happy marriage. That's amazing. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. So, it Alyssa, like a big slumber sorry? party. Feels like a big slumber party. <laughs> uh, so, Alyssa, you want to share your three uniques with us? Sure. Uh, well, I kind of just did a little bit. Uh, my first unique is um, I believe that food has the power to heal if we give our bodies the opportunity to do it by fueling our bodies with uh, amazing nutrition and enhanced foods. Um, so that's my first unique. Great. And your second one? I am 100% committed to my clients' results. Maybe too much. I love seeing my clients, mostly women, um, succeed in reaching their wellness journey and reaching their goals that they've decided is what they want. It makes me really, really happy to see women come alive and not have to worry about uh, food and, and weight. Amazing, and your third unique? My third unique is I just completed designing a online nutrition program for four weeks that you can do on your own, on your own time, but also have me by your side. So I'm pretty excited about that because it's unique to me. It's unique to my Nourish Foundation and my program. And um, it's kind of cool because you can do it alone, but you have me there. That's outstanding. That's great. Can't wait yeah. to see what it looks like. Yeah, thanks. Uh, so Alyssa, what would you give to, like if you were going to give advice, like just a quick hit advice to anyone that's sort of like going through this time that we're going through around the world, um, when you think about like just like renewing, restoring your body, your mind, what would be like a quick tip that you would give to somebody right at this point in time? Food wise? Yeah. Food wise, I think my biggest tip would try to tell people to not stress so much about what they're eating and become more mindful on how they're eating and to incorporate more greens into their day. I guess okay. that's two tips, isn't it? Yeah, it's good. They're all good, though. We'll take them. Some more okay. greens, for sure. Yeah, which is... greens okay. and just becoming more mindful and bringing your mindfulness uh, in onto your plate. Awesome. So much of us, especially now, um, you know, during COVID, and as we were talking before, COVID's not going away. So much of us are, and I'm seeing this so much, are just like eating and eating and, and like stuffing, stuffing down our emotions. And we're using food to just kind of appease everything that's going on. And I feel like if you just become more mindful about how you eat and what you eat, you don't do that so much because it doesn't feel good. Absolutely. What are you reading right now? What's on your nightstand table? Um, I just finished Alicia, Alicia Keys, uh, More Me, which I loved. Oh. And right now I'm reading a travel memoir about a woman who traveled to Mexico in the 50s before traveling was really easy and accessible. Just because, just because I have that, that wonderlust, so I wanted to pick that up in a book. Um, I forgot the name of it, to be honest with you. I, I'm staring at it right now, but my eyesight's not so good, but I'll get it. Hold on. I'm reading A Visit to Don Otavo. Okay. A Traveler's Tale from Mexico. It's a woman, I told you, a woman from the 1950s, um, and it's about her adventures in Mexico. Nice. I wanted to pick up a travel memoir, some, something that could make me 
you know, have that feeling of lust again. And I, I feel like we have all traveled or we're fortunate enough to be able to globe trot around the world. And this was a time in the 1950s where, you know, single women weren't traveling to Mexico on their own. So I thought this was really cool because I would never, I'll never be able to experience that, you know, traveling alone as a woman in Mexico. I'm never going to do that because I have a partner and I have a family and I feel like travel is very, before COVID was becoming very normal. Do you know what I mean by that? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And, and also really, just I'm the, really adventure loving spirit, the adventure spirit that you have. Yeah. Yeah. I'm really loving that. I'm trying to uh, kind of put down the help, self-help for a little while and kind of pick up something a bit more riveting and fun. Awesome. That's great. Light in the load. Light in the load. Yeah. So when you're... Sorry. Sorry. I do read. I have a, a list of nutrition books that I have by my bedside. bedside. I like Mark Hyman and reading The Food Fix, but those are just staples by my bed. Right. Um, when you were putting together your three uniques... What did you like doing about it? What did you find challenging about it? Um, well, it made me think, you know, it made me think about, okay, well, what makes me different and what makes me unique? There's lots of amazing nutritionists out there, lots of amazing dietitians out there. And I really just thought about, well, what is, how is my program different and how am I different um, in that type of way? And I guess it was a little, my challenge was, my three uniques, was it just for my business or was it for me personally? And then I realized it's kind of all the same. There's no business me or, 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 or holistic nutritionist me. It's just, it's just me. Yeah. So those are the three things that kind of came quickly. And I, I was questioning myself, should I only be doing nutrition? Should I only be doing like the business side of me? But then I realized that those, those kind of resonate. Right. Yeah. yeah. So I think that's the key thing for a lot of people that are listening is you can go deep, you can do the self-help, you can do the, you know, um, really sort of ser searching inward to figure out what your three uniques are, or like, do you know, like they're just top of mind to you. Like, don't think too hard about it or getting, getting into a spin about it. It's like, what comes naturally to you and what do you love doing? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And I just realized, well, why do I like doing this? And then it kind of just fell from there. Amazing. Thanks yeah. so much for being on Three Uniques to None uh, today. It was great to connect with you. Thanks so much for having me. I always love chatting with you. And to everyone else that's listening, just get your Three Uniques out there. I always say that there's a hiring manager, there's a recruiter, there's an entrepreneur. Uh, there's someone that wants to partner with you and do the work that you do. Um, so thanks again, Melissa. Take care, everyone. Bye.